hey guys i'm rachel and welcome back to my channel if you're new here thank you so much for subscribing and um, if you like what i'm doing here please subscribe and always be sure to hit that bell so that you do not miss my uploads also um you can follow me on all my social media shades of chills and chill makeup edition all the information would always be in the description box so always be sure to check that out so today i bring to you my fall necessities things that i feel like you need for fall things that i cannot do without in the fall so let's jump right into it so in no particular order i'm gonna start with candles bath and body works candles like i love candles so much i like anything that smells good at the moment i'm using this too this is what i'm burning i'm using sweater weather and mahogany tick wood they smell so good this one is my favorite it says rich mahogany black tick wood dark oak and frosted lavender it just has this sort of masculine scent that i love so much it really has this dark oak scent to it is I, I just love it so 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 much so candles i definitely cannot do without candles it's my body in the fall my skin fall and winter months my skin tends to get drier and anyone who knows me knows that i was a girl in high school whenever you need lotion it's ask rachel i always always have lotion on me and it's to this day it's like i inherited it because my daughter is this very very same way so surgeons i cannot go without a bottle of jurgens um this slips on my bed with me it's i use this for my hands and underneath my feet i hate my skin being dry i'm obsessed with uh lotions i cannot Top do clear uh cocoa butter cream palmas makes a good one as well i just like this one better because it's softer and it um it dissolves nicer into my skin the palmas could be a bit harder and the winter months the cooler months makes things like that more difficult to dissolve into your skin so i just prefer this it's bigger for less money and it does a Next very good job talk about it. is the shea moisture bath body and massage oils i cannot do without these this one is my favorite scent is the super fruit multivitamin scent i love this one so much they make a couple of different scents but like i said this one is my favorite it's um it's a thicker formula it's not too dry it's not too too greasy neither but it's thicker so it can substitute as um a lotion uh in the fall months because it really does hydrate your skin what i like to do with this is mix a little bit into this and mix them together and apply it on my body it is the next thing for my skin is the jurgens wet skin moisturizer this one gives you a natural glow um i apply this directly when i can just just step out of the shower my skin is actually very very wet i put this all over my body and then i use my towel to absorb the excess water and it gives you such a nice glow and really 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 moisturizes your skin so this is a must sugar have scrub also. i get these at marshall's um you can get different ones at target uh, any beauty supply sorry any drugstore should have body scrubs but marshall's have them at a very cheap cost so i like going by marshall's to get nice little finds like these at least once a week i would use this with an exfoliating glove like this, this these ones are new i put my hands in it let me bust this up so i Put it on like this both of them and i apply the um scrub on the glove and i scrub my body with it i get the best effect using a glove to do that it really scrubs my skin and when i wash it off it has like a moisturizer in it so my skin is glowing and it's soft and nice i like doing this once a week in the shower incorporate this in your body routine next is my face i like using the saint ives fresh skin apricot scrub on my face at least two to three times a week because like i say in the fall months my skin tends to get drier so you will have more build up and more flaking and stuff like that so i like using this to exfoliate my skin at night because it gives me a nice smooth canvas since i am a makeup wearer and lover so my makeup goes on smoother when i use this on my no issues with saint ives i've heard 
other people have problems with it i personally don't so i reach for this very very often next is some sort of facial oil this one is a pure rosehip seed oil i like using this at night um one to two drops just a little to put all over my face it um helps with my skin being plumped and soft like a baby's butt in the morning so after i would have moisturized my skin and everything i apply one or two pumps of this over my skin really massage it into my skin it really helps with me being more hydrated um the following day so different brands make different facial oils that you can incorporate in your skincare uh, regimen this is the one that i'm using at the moment it's an absolute must it's not just in the fall that i use this i use this all year it's the vaseline lip therapy i buy these in bulk i cannot do without them they are just really makes my lips soft and smooth and since i like wearing lipsticks a lot especially liquid lips sometimes this helps to moisturize my lips and keep them moisturized um, i apply this when i am doing my foundation routine so by the time i'm ready for my lips i just use a paper towel dab the excess off and apply my liquid lip over it it's perfect i use this by itself i just love it actually i i've been using this so long that i would love to find something else besides that like you know i'm always on the hunt for something better so if anyone has any suggestions of a different lip balm that i can use please leave that in the description box thank you <laughs> next is what i am wearing a jean jacket i love jean jackets in the fall and who am i kidding it's not fall anymore because i cannot wear this right now right now i would be play myself if i went outside like this <laughs> but i love a good jean jacket in the fall casual anywhere with heels with sneakers whatever it is i just love a good jean jacket and i love them when they're oversized as well like this one is oversized doesn't matter what you're wearing once you put a jean jacket or just outerwears on a whole they just make your this one outfit is um a lighter wash so i like them in different colors and this one has all the writings in the back i just feel like it's so edgy i love i love it also i love olive like m the um green the militant green is one of my favorite favorite shades of green and i do have outer wears like i just love them so always invest i feel like in some good outer wear it always just adds something to your outfit the next thing is come bat boots everyone needs a combat boot in their shoe collection i have like three of these in different colors i just love this color here so much i just feel like it adds an extra oomph to your outfit you can wear these with uh jeans leggings whatever i love them everyone should have the next thing that everyone should have fuzzy slippers <laughs> everyone needs fuzzy slippers they are so soft and comfy i wear this with socks i have to wear socks either way my feet get extremely cold in the cooler months i cannot go without the socks so i love wearing fuzzy socks and fuzzy slippers once i enter the house it's a must i buy and they're very cheap i buy these off amazon or different stores like payless payless has really nice fuzzy slippers i paid like 12 dollars for these so then you can get them for 10 dollars they're just adorable now this wouldn't be fall necessities if i didn't at least include some makeup but my favorite part of the whole makeup routine um is a foundation and lips always on the hunt for foundations i love love foundations you don't want to see my foundation collection and my lip collection is like it's crazy like it's illegal for one person to have so much lips you know what i mean and i love my foundations to be uh full coverage and matte but in the winter months, as I said, it's cooler, your skin gets drier. So I like something to add a little more hydration to my skin. So for the winter months, I spoke about Too Faced a Bond This Way foundation. I fell in love with this. It's a full coverage foundation, but it is not matte and it's not drying on the skin. It just is just perfect. It looks flawless on your skin. It's not heavy. It's just... <sighs> The next one is my NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. I love this in the cooler months as well. It is more of a liquidy consistency. As I said, it is luminous and weightless, but it is not like greasy or shiny. It's what I'm wearing on my face today. 
it is just perfect i pull this out every time in the cooler months more affordable one that i can recommend would be the l'oreal true match um super blendable makeup this one is from the drug soul this one is really really nice in the cooler months as well these i can recommend for anyone who has my type of skin which is oily combination and have an idea of what it is i mean or experience the same things with your skin in the cooler months as your skin being more um needing more hydration Oops. hey something must fall oh come on okay so i can obviously i cannot <laughs> so these are some lippies that I'm going to talk about a little bit today. I will not speak about all because they're... Who am I kidding? They're almost the same sh the same color, but I am going to mention a couple. So in the cooler months, I gravitate to lips that are more pumpkin-y, <laughs> more fall-y, <laughs> like uh, sort of more coral and orangey uh, colors that pull more um, mauve, purpley, and darker colors. I gravitate to colors like that in the... Here I have, this is from Colourpop and it's um, Pearl Next Door, sort of a burgundy color. I don't know if, if this swatch is doing it justice, but that's what it looks like. Liquid lips are very drying, so if you do not like dry, drying lip, liquid lips, you can always use a gloss over top or you can use a cream lipstick over top as well. This one is from morphe it's called spicy i wore this in my tutorial with the green cut crease it's pretty um we have extra credit from color pop again this one has a little more orange in it that's it like i say who am i kidding they're almost all the same and here we have another one what's the stitch Oh, these names. Let me show you. What's the stitch? That's this one. As you can see, they're all in the same family. Just some are just more vibrant than others. Oh, we have another one. This one is more of a brown undertone. It's from Morphe again. It's called Nibble. There you have it. It's sort of a reddish brown. Pretty, pretty. I'm obsessed. The one I'm wearing on my lips is called Yes Is More. It's from Colourpop again. There we have it. I love it so much. It's so pretty. Someone who do not want to wear, you know, orange. Probably have an issue with orange. The more mauve tones. This one is from NYX. It's called French Made. There it is. This is the lip, NYX Lip Laundry French Made. This one pulls more mauve. -y. Then we have another color pop name zumba this one is more neutral let me show you zumba it's right here my swatches suck i'm not good at this excuse me i've discovered these ones recently the infallible pro matte liquid lip from maybelline um the chocolate scents oh my god they smell so good so so good this one is in bittersweet they come in a couple of different colors. You guys can check them out. I like this one. This one in my last tutorial with the chocolate eyes. So you guys could check that out to see what it looks like on the lip. It is beautiful. It's like a nude nude on me. It's like I have no lips and I love nude lips. It's always my preference. Nude lips are always my Now for those of y'all who do not like liquid lips, I have two lipsticks here from, again, Colourpop. I placed an order. I did a damage with Colourpop. Yep, I did. Colourpop just give me a discount code. I have this one in Better Off. Oh my god. Oh Jesus. Let's see where I could find some way to swatch it. Here we have Better Off. And this is not, it's a matte lip, but they are very comfortable. They are not like extremely dry matte lips. And the other one is Around the World. And like I said, who am I kidding? They all look the same look at it so these are the colors that i look for please excuse my burn i got burnt <laughs> these are the colors that i go for in the fall i love them so much the purpley the coppery pumpkin spicy colors 
let me show you one more this one is from Kat Von D and it's called Berlin let's put Berlin where show you Berlin right here I reach for those colors like Berlin and um, the one that I'm wearing or this one from Colourpop when I do not want to be extremely bright like I don't want to go orange or I don't want to be too dark like this these ones but I want something to make a statement on my lip and I like this is like my neutrals in the fall and cooler months those sort of softer looking uh, corals now I know I just butchered that swatch like at least I tried so an A for effort <laughs> or E for effort <laughs> anyway at least you have an idea of what it is i like the colors that i like look at them they're so beautiful i feel like anyone who's around my skin tone skin color would appreciate these colors they are these are my go-to colors in the fall each and every one so pretty i'm obsessed <laughs> so that's all the fall necessities things that i think that you need absolutely need for the fall uh, comment down below some of the things that you cannot do without in the fall i would love to hear what you guys cannot do without uh, thank you so much for watching as usual everything would always be in the description box so be sure to check that out check out my social media shades of chels chels makeup edition follow me book me love me why don't you love me much for watching see you again soon and remember changing the world one face at a time this for my hands and underneath my feet i 